Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another lesson of Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 16, even and odd numbers. Okay, this was, as the kids would say, that was easy. I like this. Okay. I guess we don't like challenges anymore. Easy stuff is what they like. So this was a enjoyable uh, lesson, so let's get started. Uh, what is an even number? Um, that was the question asked to the students, and I got some good answers. And basically what we came up with is a number that can be evenly divisible by 2. number that when divided by 2, there, this is what I was told, is no remainder. So, in other words, it's evenly divisible by 2, or multiples of 2, okay? List some examples of even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and notice this is continuing on and on. Look what's happening. 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6. This continues forever and ever and ever, so dot, 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 dot. There are some examples of even numbers, okay? What is an odd number? Well, if an even number is divisible by 2, then an odd number, when divided by 2, it has a remainder. Okay. When divided by 2, it has a remainder. In other words, it's not divisible by 2. So, if I divide 3 by 2, I get 1.5. If I divide 5 by 2, I get 2.5. If I divide 7 by 2, I get 3.5, and so forth. 9, 11, 13, and there's my 3, there's my 3, the next one, just put a 1 in front of that, 15, and it continues for a time. So there's the odds. What happens when we add two even numbers? So we're going to add two even numbers. So pick an even number, two. Add another even number, uh, six. And when we add those up, we get eight. Let's go back up to our list. Two plus six gave us eight. So when you add two evens, you get an even. Well, in order to represent that, I did a model in class. So if I use dots, there's two. That represents two. And then plus, if I use dots again, I have two groups of six. So since an even number is divisible by two, we're going to divide the number by two and have three in each row. So three, three in a row times two rows equals six. One in a row times two rows equals two. And then what we can do is say, okay, well, since they pair up, there's not going to be a remainder. And we have one, two, three pairs here. And therefore, there are no leftover dots. So everybody had a, a mate, so it paired up. Okay. And without remainders, it's divisible by two. All right, so why is the sum of two even numbers even? Think of the problem 12 plus 14. Draw dots to represent each number. So 12 plus 14. So remember... Okay, sorry about that. Alleluia. It is 2.30 on a Friday. Okay, so think of the problem 12 plus 14. Draw dots to represent each number. Remember, we're dividing by 2. So I'm going to have two rows of 6 because 12 divided by 2 is 6. So I'm going to represent 12 as... Two rows of six. Okay. Plus 14 divided by 2 is 7. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times 2 is 14. So now if we draw circles around these and pair them up, there's a pair, there's a pair, there's a pair, and so on, and so on, and so on. Everything's a pair. 
and I don't have any left over, so it is even. So why is the sum of two even numbers even? Because no leftovers and no leftovers create no leftovers. B, circle pairs with dots determine if any dots are left over. We just did that. Okay. So part B, I jumped ahead of myself. That was circling. And is this true every time two even numbers are added together? Yes. Because there will never be a remainder. either number. Okay? There will never be a remainder in either number. So if there's no remainders in either, you're not going to have anything left over when we're done. Okay. okay. Next question. Why is the sum of two odd numbers even? Think of the problem 11 plus 15. Draw dots to represent each number. So 11 is one we're gonna do rows of two again two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven plus fifteen i'm gonna draw this a certain way because i know the outcome I'm gonna draw it like this one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Circle pairs of dots to, term, to determine if any of the dots are left over. So here's a pair. So on. Just keep going here. And I'll work this way. Okay. And then I get to here. And since this was an odd number, there is one left over. And since this was an odd number, there is one left over. And I can actually combine those two to get my last pair, and there are no leftovers. So odd plus odd is always, every time, is going to give us Is this true every time two odd numbers are added together? And it's yes, because... There will be a remainder of one. For each number. And the two remainders. will make a pair. Okay. Three. Why is the sum of an even number and an odd number odd? So if we're going to add 14 and 11, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 11 divided by 2 is, well, 6 plus 5, so we're going to have to do it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 11, and then we circle our pairs, one pair. See this? That is, I should push it. Okay, I've got a leftover right here. That means that it's a odd number when we're done. So 14 plus 11 is 25, and it is definitely odd. Okay, and I don't know if I did the last problem here. 12 plus 14, I never told you what the answer was, it's 26. Okay, 26 were dots total. That one. And then down here, 11 plus 15 was 26. So that was enough. Okay. My apologies, I never added those. 
hopefully you did without me. Okay, so is this true every time? And the answer is yes. I'm not going to take the time to write this out, but yes, it is always true because no leftovers here, and one leftover here. There's no no leftover to combine with a leftover, so that's all left alone and lonely outside forever. It's a negative or it's odd. What if the first added is odd and the second is even? Is the sum still odd? Why or why not? For example, what if we had 11 plus 14? So here we did 14 plus 11, so if we leave that on the screen. Well, if we did 11 plus 14, then all we're doing is taking this group and moving it over here, and taking this group and moving it over here. I am not going to take the time to do that. So, actually, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can move them. Okay, probably not. So if I do this, yeah, it's all broken up. So I'm not going to. Okay, well, what's going to happen is we're going to have the 11 dots over here and the 14 over here, and therefore we're going to have a leftover here with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 circles, right? 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, plus that 1 is 11. I suppose I might as well just do this. So there's my 11 and my pair is circled, plus 14, which is 2. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and there's 2 in each to give us those 14, 7 times 2. So what we have is this here, but the leftover is on the left this time. There are none over here, so we're still going to get 20. Okay, and that means addition is... Addition is commutative, meaning 11 plus 14 equals 14 plus 11 equals 25. Okay, order doesn't matter in addition. So yes, the sum will still be odd. So let's sum it up. Positive, and then again, even plus even. equals even. Odd, one left over, plus odd, one left over, combine the two leftovers, is even. Odd, one left over, plus even. No leftovers is odd. Okay, so there's our sum up. Summing it up. Let's get it, sum it up. Even plus even is even. Odd plus odd is even. Odd plus even is odd. Okay, now we have an exploratory challenge. Exercise four through six. The product of two even numbers is. Now we're talking product. Product means multiply. Product means the answer to a multiplication problem. That's what the word product means. So pick two even numbers. Two times. 4 equals 8. What does that mean? It means if we have a group of 2 times 4, that means we have a group of 2, a group of 2, 4 times. There's one group, there's two groups, there's three groups, there's four groups of 2. That's what it means, 2 times 4. 2, 4 times. No leftovers, totaling 8. Okay? The product of two odd numbers is odd, right? Pick an odd number. Three times five equals, well, one, two, there's a group of three. One, two, three. Okay, try this again. So three, one, two, three, three times. One, two, Three. There's two. One, two, three. There's three. One, two, three. There's three. Five, th four groups of three. One, two, three. There's five groups of three. Okay. Let me draw lines in between here so you can see them. 
So three and three and three and three and three. Five groups of three, totaling 15 dots. I have a pair. 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 Then I can take this one and pair it up with this one. I can take this one and pair it up with that one. And then I have this one left over, creating a negative answer. I'm sorry, negative. Creating an odd answer. So odd times odd is the product of an even number and an odd number is even. So two times three equals, here's a two, here's a group of two, here's another group of two, I'll draw a line in between to break them up, and here's another group of two. Three groups of two totaling six dots. There's a pair, there's a pair, there's a pair. So there's nothing left over. So the product of an even number and an odd number is even. Okay. So lesson summary says adding the sum of two even numbers is even. The sum of two odd numbers is even. Okay. And the sum of an even number and an odd number is odd. So in adding, when the signs are the same, it's even. And when the signs are opposite, I'm sorry. I'm thinking signs. Okay. When the two numbers are even, it stays even. When they're both odd, they become even. And when they're odd and even, they become odd. That's the answer. So when they're the same thing, both even or both odd, they become even. And when they're different, odd and even, the answer is odd. When we multiply, even times an even is even. Odd times an odd is odd. And an even times an odd is even. Okay, that can be a little confusing, but if you don't remember and it's asked on a quiz, write an example of like I did. I picked the smallest even numbers I can work with. I could have done two times two, but I use different numbers. I picked three and five. You could do three times three. I did two times three. So I picked the smallest number so it's less work to explain and point out to myself if I don't memorize them. Actually, plug numbers in and get an idea of what the result is. Okay, so that is lesson 16. Now go do your problem set.